Hello guys, so today I will show you how to make a URL request using the plugin, the REST plugin of the Unreal Engine 5, the version that I have defined for 5.3. But how to make in that request, how to send a picture or an image. Yes, I have received this question a uh, few times and I was on the end deciding to make a tutorial so it will be there for the record and so all of you will have access to this and will know how to make it. It was necessary to create uh, some new node. Yes, I have to make like some small script of C++ to be able to transfer from the URL of the image where you have it um, to an array of bits that is necessary to make the request. So I will explain you a step by step how to make the request. I will show you how I did uh, this note, what it's in the code. I will share with you this project so you will have access to, to this small component that I create. And I will show you how I did the, a small server that uh, simulates and that gives me the answer of the API. So yeah, let's jump to it. So to start, um, as usually I use a delay of three seconds, yes, just to um, just to wait a bit to make the request. So what I do here is that I get the literal string, like I let the, the full path of the file that I want to send. In this case, is a JPG uh, file. Yes, I convert it. Um, to an array of bytes and I get an out boundaries because the thing is that a VA REST subsystem does not have the construction for sending files. So we need to construct our own request, like write it down exactly how it will send it. So what we do here is we check if everything is okay. We then construct our JSON request as before using the VA REST subsystem. Ah, we have here some alerts, but then we use this, that will be our boundary, yes. And we use the content type binary. We have to define that our content type here to tell to the request or to the server that we are sending a file. We have to send this content type as a header. Then we use the set binary request content because our content will not be um, as before that we define like a string files or values or integers. Now it will be our array of bits that we construct there with this node. Then we use this to bind event on request complete. Then we bind this event on request fail. And then we process the URL. So as you can see, it's my local host. And this is the API that I just created, the one that I have running on this site. So we have just a simple example, how to print the response as string and how to print, uh, well, how to print the response string when it fails and the same like uh, completed. So this is it, it's, it's really simple, but from here you can adapt it to your own system. So I will show you how it works. So first I will use Postman to actually send files. So you will see, how it works uh, with the file. So I would look the same one, this logo. Yes, now I just send it. So as you see, uh, my server returned for me like uploaded file and it's 200 okay. So the request went through and it was okay. Yes, and I have this, uh, the name of the file, the size of the file and the MIME type of the file. This is the answer that the server gave me. So now if we make um, the same request using here, you see that is the same file, the same URL. So when I hit play, after three seconds here, we will have the same information. I will just make it one more time. Okay, so, so if we make it here, I'll come back here and you will see that we have the same answer. So if I open our output, 
we will have the same answer from the server, the same information. Yes, so your servers will return whatever they return and our server works in the same way. You know, it answers the same. It takes a little bit longer though. It's because it has to be some processing, but it is working and it's fine. So this is the way how you send an image through a, through a HTTP request using the BI REST plugin in Unreal Engine. So just a quick review. I will show you what is the code about and how simple this is not that complex. So literally I create this my header file, I create an um, actor component so I can attach to any actor or you can attach to any actor that you are using to make the request. So to add like this extra helper, for that reason I call it like texture to buy it helper. Yes, I define here some properties. This is my boundaries, the one that you receive like that is received in the node as string. So it's just here to teach the server like where the request start and where the request end. So it has like some architecture behind it has to follow one format. But if you check on the internet, you will also find this. Um, this is my function to convert the actual string of the file path. Yes. To my, to the three values that I return. That is that. Okay. The Boolean. Okay the string that is the out boundary and the request body. So in here I use just the native modules of the Unreal Engine. I didn't install anything else uh, to my project. Uh, if we check here in the in the source in my build that CS I just I keep it normal. This is, these are the models that I have. Yes. So I take the file path. I use this uh, class to get the clean file name. Yes. A string. Then I create my array of, uh, bits, bytes. And then I process this. Like I load file to array using the file helper, that it's a model of the Unreal Engine. I get it, uh, I get the Boolean to get the confirmation. This is the one that I return on the end. And if it's okay, <clears throat> then I build the request by myself using the information. So yes, on the description of the video, you will find a link for the GitHub repository where you will find the server so you can test your solutions. Um, and I will also let you a link uh, to get to this project so you can replicate this or just use the component on your own project um thank you for watching that uh, please be focused i i took some time because i'm i'm working on improve the channel and really create content that is useful uh, remember that i use this to answer the questions that i had myself when i was uh, working on my project so each time that i found a hard question to answer i said okay this this go to a video and that's it i hope you have a nice day and see you next time.